What's up, YouTube? We're back here at Video Game Trader again in Buford. We're gonna be opening up some evolving skies. So now, all right, honestly though, like I thought Wizard of the Coast was doing some weird stuff with their packing, but look at this. Like it literally looks like somebody put this in a shopping bag and just like sent, shipped it out. Like this looks like this is supposed to be a shopping handle. For real though. <laughs> so guys, don't forget, make sure you go like the Video Game Trader page on Facebook as well as check out the links in the description. If you guys want any of the singles we pull here, the inventory usually gets in there within a week um, that we pull on videos. And then also, if you guys want to get any sealed product or pre-orders, you guys can get in on that on the second link that's in there just for the store. Let's go ahead and count these packs down because for some reason, it actually seems like there's more packs than normal in here. So I know it sounds odd, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now we're good, okay. They just looked really tall, these stacks. But anyway, let's get into it, guys. If you want to support the channel, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment so you get entered in the giveaways. That is how you get entered into the giveaways for both here on the channel and also in person at Video Game Trader. So let's get to it. Metal energy to start us off. Crustle, Switching Cups, Badge, Cutie Fly, Pikachu, Applin, Lillipup, Emolga, Hitmonchan, Verse, and a Slacking. So... We got Lost Origins coming up. If you guys didn't see the full set list, we are finally getting the pink, or the pink, the black and gold uh, Chunky Chew. So that'll be cool. We're getting him. And then we're also getting the Ash and Pikachu character card, the VMAX Pikachu character card. So that's going to be really nice. We're going to get the Charizard Leon. A lot of chase cards in this next set, guys. And um, it's going to be pretty crazy. And a Rayquaza VMAX all ready to start us off here. So very good hit to start us out. Let's see if we can build on that. So in this set, you got the alternate art Rayquazas, both of them, the V and the VMAX. You got the alternate art Evolutions, which are also very, very nice. Rescue character and a Yelith. Um, pretty much any of the Evolutions in alternate art, no matter if you pull the V or the VMAX, I think are all still holding pretty strong, uh, even with all these reprints that they've done to the set. Um, for the most part, I believe that those long-term are gonna hold pretty solid value just because they're fan favorites and a lot of people aren't gonna sell them off. So I think a lot of people are just gonna really hold on to them unless you get a price for it that's just like, you can't refuse kind of deal. I'm gonna give you an offer, you can't refuse. That kind of thing, so. Lightning Energy, Avalug. Ribbon Bad, Zuelos, Cragonal, Petalil, Bergamite, Drowsy, Scraggy, Reverse, Tentacruel, and a Lycanroc V. So the other thing too is we got some information that Scarlet, the new uh, Pokemon Scarlet series is coming out. Uh, I believe they said there's going to be some Pokemon from that in Lost Origins too. Uh, that was kind of a rumor. I don't know if it's true. So I don't know if it's going to be Lost Origins or another set afterwards, but Fighting Energy. Man, this is like one of the creepiest cards ever. Like, I feel like he drives like a really like, like a no windows, like white, white van. So like Lombre's even trying to get away from him. He's like, hey man, that guy's creepy. Trying to get away from him. Hitmonchan, Fletchling, Tentacool, Pikachu, Slack King, and an Entei. So I personally have yet to open the Sylveon from, in English, the Sylveon Alt Art VMAX and the Umbreon Alt Art VMAX, but I've seen them and they are gorgeous. I just not have opened them personally. So we'll see what happens, ladies and gentlemen. You guys know how this goes. Every new set, there's something new, new to chase. And these sets are a lot more fun though, at least. Um, Cause when you do mass openings of sets like Champion's Path, like we started off with, you know, like about a year and a half ago. Oh man, when you're just chasing two cards and you don't really care about anything else, it's a little different. This set, you got a whole lot to hit. Got all the Rayquaza cards, all the Evolutions. There was another couple of altered art cards in here too, as far as I remember that um, were supposed to be pretty good. We're gonna guess the energy on the next one, Skip Bloom and Altaria. We're gonna guess Leaf Energy. We're gonna guess Leaf Energy if I'm right. I'll have something for you guys here, video game trader to give away. Oh, psychic energy, nothing on this one. It's okay, we'll do one more time later on. Nothing out of that pack. So, of these new modern sets, what do you guys like the most? 
for those of you that are collectors and or players, I'm sure the collectors are gonna have a different, a different take on it because different sets have different chase cards. Uh, I think that Darkness of Blaze is still one of the sets that has like the most, the majority of the most playables for tournament. If I could be wrong, but Brilliant Stars I think actually has a lot too now. Um, the Arceus V Star that's in there sees a lot of play. So, energy. All right, let's see if we can get an alternate card. Come on, Pikachu, Applin, Lillipup, Emolga, Flabebe, and a Garboder V. So still no crazy hits yet, but we're still not halfway through this box. Still got plenty of packs left. So for those of you guys that are Magic players, I know this is a Pokemon video, but for those of you that do play Magic, they do Magic here. Commander on Thursdays and Saturdays, and Pioneer on Friday nights for Friday Night Magic. Uh, they are a WPN store, so they have the promos, so that's pretty cool. They do uh, $5 to enter, and then you get pack per win. They do three rounds of Swiss, and then you do the promo packs, I believe, for the top three based upon standings at the end. Why well, see, why couldn't I guess Leaf Energy for this one? Statlin and Milotic. Right, we're getting close to the halfway point here. Who remembers when we opened this set in Japanese? Were any of you guys here when we did that? We did it on Whatnot and on YouTube, but it was pretty wild. Um, those boxes were insane, like, cause, especially because you can only really hit one out of every box. So basically, after we hit, we were, after we hit something, we just moved on to the next box, just because nobody wanted to really gamble and see if there was a second one. It was very rare; it happened. But all right, let's slow down on this one. Golduck, Floet, Triagonal. I feel an alternate art Rayquaza. Come on, Scraggy. Shellgon and a Moltres. I felt nothing. It must have just been gas. All right. Must have just been gas. All right, we got another chance here. Another black code. Fire energy. Forgot the good VMAXs in this set. I can't remember if there were any big playable VMAX cards in this set. Ooh, Garbodor. Is this an alternate art or just a full art? Because the artwork on this one looks very interesting. Uh, it's 190 out of 203, so I think this is just a full art, but that is a really crazy texturing um, for the full art here. So we're gonna put that one aside. Tom, again, appreciate you letting me do this for the store here. You guys, make sure to check out those links below if you wanna get any of these singles. They will be in inventory here soon. All right, we're halfway through the box. We're gonna save, I, I don't know why, I feel super confident about this Umbreon pack. We're just gonna save that for the very last. Save that one for last. I wanna hit alternate art, VMAX Evolution so bad, that'd be so cool to hit. We got Pyroar and a Jolteon VMAX, okay. Nothing too nutty, but all of the VMAXs actually in this set, the regular VMAXs, not the uh, V-Star. Oh wait, the V-Star wasn't a thing yet in this set. That's right. Um, but the VMAX cards, all of the evolutions are pretty good. Uh, I actually like Jolteon's ability. I'll read it to you guys after this one. We got a Galarian Zapdos and a Milotic. And now this set, I don't believe you can hit anything in the reverse holo slot, but, um, I think it was the Jolteon. Yeah, Max Thunder Rumble. This attack does 100 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. So, you get to deal the 100 plus another 100 to something else, um... That's pretty good just for like a state, basically a stage two in a sense. So um, that's pretty solid actually for just two energy. I don't know what the meta is right now. So I don't know if that even lines up with what's currently good in the meta. Um, but I would assume that if, if anything water type is really going crazy that that card can really wreck somebody's day. And obviously, for the uh, for the ability, the second part of that attack, you don't apply weakness and resistance for the hundred dollar, the hundred points on the bench. But still, that's still pretty solid. All right, let's go. Slow down. Woo bat, Gossifleur, Feebas, Hippotus, Ursaring, and a Sweet Coon V. Not too bad. All right, we need to bless these packs though. Now, I don't know if this was part of the first wave or the second wave. I don't know if the pull rates are any different. You guys mentioned down below 
If you feel that you saw any difference from the first print run and the second print run or wave uh, that they did on Evolving Skies, because I feel like that um, sometimes when they make more product, they change the hit rates. Falafi and a Reggie Leaky regular hollow. Um, that's one thing that I have not noticed yet because I haven't opened too much Evolving Skies since we, you know, since they did that whole uh, restock, so. The white codes we're gonna go through a little bit faster because there is nothing again to really hit in that reverse hollow slot. So I'm not gonna slow roll it too much. And also I'm gonna try to keep you guys under 15 minutes here. Do my best to keep you guys under 15 minutes if possible because I know you guys probably have the attention span like me, that of a little monkey. Falafel and Fletchling, I'm like Peter Griffin. Ooh, piece of candy. Like right now I'm looking at a box of donuts and I'm thinking, ooh. Why am I opening packs of Pokemon cards when I could be eating donuts? Here we go. We got Shopping Center and a Lilligant. All right, we're coming down to the final stretch here. We're so far, we're only at six hits now. So this box needs to get some legs here. Lightning Energy. All right, we're gonna do Guessing Energy on the next one, guys and girls. We're gonna do Water. We're gonna do Water Energy. We blast waste ourselves into the moon here. Ah, oh, fighting energy. <laughs> Fist bump energy. Dweeble, that's me. Marie, Psyduck, and a Hydreigon. All right. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got like eight packs left. Really, really, really need to turn it on here. We only got one full art, so. That gives us hope at least for there to be an alternate art in this box. We really want it to be an Umbreon or a Sylveon of some kind. Temple, Cryagonal, and a Zygarde. So still nothing in that alternate art space. Now I wonder if the looseness of this wrapping also had anything to do with that. So, I mean, I know that they've been struggling with their, either the glue is too much or the boxes are loose or it's, oh, it's been something every single time for the last like four sets, like Battle Styles and Chilling Rain, the white glue, this stuff guys, that you see here on the packaging, this like comes off and goes everywhere. It's so ridiculous. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six packs to go. I'll try to still be a man of my word, keep you under 15 minutes. Fire energy. Come on, we want an alternate art, let's go, come on. Drowsy, Flabebe, Rock and Roller, Psyduck, Switching Cups, and an alternate art, Glaceon V. That is a hit right there, ladies and gentlemen. We actually opened this one in Japanese. You guys saw it here. This was the first one we opened, and man, the texturing on this looks so gorgeous. Look at the houses in the background. I wonder what that Glaceon's thinking, just chilling. Probably thinking, I wonder if there's any catnip at the house. All right, that's pretty good. All right, so... That is definitely one of the goals of opening these boxes, especially right now, since you can get these for a reasonable price and they're not super inflated. Um, the Evolutions, I think all of the Evolutions, to be perfectly honest, and V and V Max, I think in a couple years they'll all be in that hundred dollar range or more. Uh, Seismitoad and Nicket, I don't think you're going to see any below that personally. But that's just me. That's just me. All right, we got three packs to go here. Try to get through quick. Water energy, ooh, aroma lady, and falafel. Three packs left. Can we do it in a minute? Probably not. <laughs> Gonna have you guys probably slightly over 15 minutes here. I try to keep it under 15 if we can get it. We got Drowsy and an Espeon V, very nice. All right, so this box has definitely picked it up here. We got two Umbreon packs for the last two. I have that one set aside. It was the last Umbreon pack, so let's see if that one has anything in it. This one was a no-no. We got a Tentacool and a Talonflame, and our final pack of the video, ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna be it right here. Oh, it's a white code. Oh well, oh well. It's okay though, this was still a good box. Got ourselves a full art, got ourselves an alternate art Glaceon V and some pretty good V cards. So overall, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now this was only a eight hit box, which is actually kind of low, but with the alternate art, that kind of picks up the slack for us here. So guys, make sure you go and like, 
video game trader. Make sure you guys check out those links below for these singles. Check them out if you guys wanna get any pre-orders in for Lost Origins. I don't know if they're up yet. You can check the website out. I believe there's some contact information on there as well. And we will see you on the next one. Make sure you comment below to get entered in those giveaways. Bye-bye.